the center. I'll count that. Man. I'm not much of a skater or anything, but I've always wanted to learn how to skate. Particularly like probably rolling ever since I was like 12. I wanted to learn how to skate like him. In the freestyle middle school bullies they didn't let me skate high school tried to learn how to skate all these kick flips show flips i want to say whoo couldn't do them 23 years old now picked up a skateboard off of skatewarehouse.com and uh i was watching rodney mullen videos I saw him do a trick. I think it's called the Casper, where you flip it on your tail and then you jump back on it. I was like, oh, I could probably do that. So I came down here in my school's gym, college, and I figured it out how to do it. Um, it's not like perfect. I can't get it to be angled like that because my legs just aren't used to that. And I just learned it 30 minutes ago but I've landed it maybe 15 times in the video there. Did a lot of attempts, couldn't, but I kept going. I kept doing it. I got hit in the shins like 30 times, a couple times up in the upper leg right there. Um, but I was able to do it. Um, yeah. A lot of people say like skateboarding, you gotta expect the fall. And to me, that's like a metaphor of life. I mean. You're gonna fall down in life like a lot until you die and go to heaven. But skateboard you you're gonna fall, you're gonna you're gonna get cut on your elbows, your knees, all that stuff. But the ability to get back up and hop on your board is what I love about it. Because in life we fall and we pick ourselves back up and we keep going. Skateboarding, you fall, you get cut, you bleed. Get back up, hop on it, keep rolling. There's been a one time so far where I fell, was when I got this and I went inside and wanted to quit. And I got text that my cousin's husband was gonna be playing basketball in the gym. So I got my board, skated over to the gym. And now I'm learning how to do whatever that trick is and I'm able to do it. It's an amazing feeling when you finally land something. I mean, I know it's simple. That trick is simple. The majority of beginner skaters can learn how to do that. But that's that's the fun part, is learning something that not everyone is brave enough to do. Everyone is capable of doing anything. You just gotta put your mind to it, especially skateboarding. You just gotta get past that mental part of your brain telling you not to stand on a thing with four wheels. You gotta get over that. You gotta expect the fall. Once you know that you're gonna fall sometimes, you can you'll get over that fear of falling. But just if you're learning how to skate and you're just doing it for exercise like I am, because we all need exercise, go for it. Anything in life is attainable. You just gotta work hard at it. And just know that what you're doing is with love and passion. And I give it to glory to God my ability to learn this.
he gave humans the intelligence to do things and he's giving me the heart and passion to do this to glorify his name because freestyling skateboarding it's a form of dance probably Mullen said himself it's a form of dance it's an art I mean this is my dance I'm not good dancing but I'm learning just keep keep going at it you, you'll win always the bottom the nose of my board I have it written nothing is impossible because nothing is impossible except uh, moving Mount Everest with your bare hands but nothing just gotta work hard at it if you find yourself with addictions or anything like I am I use my skateboard to get me away from those things and not suffer skateboarding I love it I love God more carry on hang tough God bless